Welcome back to the post game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today and by Coca Cola, our player of the game, experience the Coke side of life. Co Coach O'Hanlon and Matt Klonuski. Here's Mike Joseph. Well, thanks, guys, here with Coach O'Hanlon. Coach, uh, obviously, first half a hot shooter on their side, second half a hot shooter, but I thought you guys moved the ball offensively as well pretty well. I thought we did a good job of moving out. I mean, they, they were shooting the, the ball, the, the lights out, and that, obviously that's our fault as well. Um, you know, we, we got back in the game. We were down one, and then they went on that huge run at the end of the first half. And a couple of turnovers that we had, a couple of bad shots that we had, and we got to be able to close out halves better than, than we did there. Right. I, I thought that the last five minutes of that first half kind of set the tone for the second half. It, it did. You know, no, we're not the type of team that's going to be able to come back and against a team like this. This is a really good basketball team. Uh, when you get down 12 or 13 points and then you're they really scrambling. Okay, thanks, Coach. We'll see you back here next week. Thank you. Thanks. We'll bring in Matt. Matt, career high, I know you would trade it all for a W. You had the mid-range going again, but that's a team that comes at you from a lot of different angles, and they attack you on the perimeter, not so much inside, but on the perimeter, they're tough. Yeah, they're uh, first place in our league, and they're a great team. I mean, they're very disciplined. They run their stuff, and they have a full team that can do whatever they want, whenever they want. So Yeah, I, you guys got a lot of guys in the ball game again. I feel down the road a lot of this is going to pay dividends. You get some of them freshmen, you know, a couple a little tentative around the perimeter, but I think down the road, this is going to be it's going to be very good for you guys when you're heading into the later part of the season. Agreed. I think we need to learn to get better stops. We can't give up what 91 points. I think it was. Uh, that's unacceptable. And we just got to work on defense. Um, we did go to, did good things on offense. So just need to clean it up. Good luck down at Navy. Thank you. All right, guys. Again, just uh, ran into a little bit of a buzz saw tonight, but this team. Things are looking up, especially on the offensive end with a guy like Klonuski and Linder. Back to you. No question about it, Mike. This is a very good basketball team they faced today. And as Matt said, they've got to get better. Here's John with the highlights from tonight's ball game. You're right, Gary. And there were some highlights for Lafayette. But uh, in the end, boy, this Boston University team, uh, I'll tell you, the young Tyler Scanlon as a freshman, uh, got them off to a terrific start. Gary, he's 6'7", and he can step away. When you can stretch a defense like this, boy, you've got some big guys on the inside. That was Eric Hankerson, who was absolutely on fire in the second half, 21 second half points uh, after uh, Fanning had done uh, very much the same in the first half. Here's Hankerson again. Uh, there was just no answer for him. And Gary, again, there's so many weapons on this Boston University team. You can't zone them. You can't man them. They're tough on the inside. They're uh, one of the most prolific three-point shooting teams. There's a great back cut by Alston on the inside, the delivery by Foreman. Uh, they can just beat you so many different ways. Lafayette played competitive basketball for large stretches of this game. Thanks in large part to that young man right there, our Coca-Cola player of the game, Matt Klinuski. Gary, he was just doing everything he humanly could uh, to uh, keep his ball club in this game. Uh, absolutely uh, automatic with that mid-range jump shot. And watch the power move to the inside, little half hook. He has so, so many uh, uh, offensive uh, uh, tools. And uh, again, you leave him alone and he's gonna make that mid-range jump shot. Uh, he did get some support, obviously, from Nick Lindner. There's another look at that left-handed finish. A three-point play the old-fashioned way. Wanuski, a one-man gang for Lafayette. His uh, uh, other experienced counterpart, Nick Lindner, had a huge game as well. Could very easily have been our Coca-Cola player of the game. But again, in order for Fran O'Hanlon's team to get where it needs to be, he's going to need contributions from guys like Hunter Janicek, from Kyle Stout, from Eric Stafford, from Carlos Jalis. Uh, it can't, it, the system isn't conducive to a two-man team. You're absolutely correct, and it wasn't conducive for Boston because they had four guys in double figures, and it looked like Fanning and Hankerson changed uniforms in the uh, at halftime. Fanning scored 15 first half points, just three in the second half. Hankerson scored three first half points, 18 in the second half. So he had 21, Fanning with 18, 11 for Eric Johnson, and 12 points for Tyler Scanlon. Scanlon, they're 91 points on 31 field goals. They shot 53% from beyond the arc, 18 three-pointers made. 11 for 14 from the foul line as they go to 9 and 7, but 4 and 0 in the Patriot League. For Lafayette, again, it was all Lindner and Klonuski. As Nick Lindner had 17, Matt Klonuski with 34. He led the team in rebounds with seven of them. The 75 Lafayette points on 27 field goals. They shot just 29% from beyond the arc, 8 for 27, and 13 for 17 from the foul line. Lafayette falls to 6 and 9, 2 and 2 in the Patriot League. And the ladies lost their ball game today, 68 to 50. 
so they fall to 1 and 15 as they are 0 and 4 in the Patriot League. We'll see if they can stop all of that on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock when they take on Holy Cross. Final score 91 75 in favor of Boston University.